Hey guys, Nate here. Welcome to the weekly store update for Destiny 2. It is the week 4. Uh, it is currently week 4, which I still don't get how it's week 4. But according to our season, we're going to your challenges, it says week 4, so we're going by that. Even though next week would actually be week 4, because that's when it would be a month since the release of... Um, Witch Queen, but anyhow, it's it says week four on our challenges already, so it's gotta be week four, but it isn't. But it is. It doesn't make sense. Excuse me. So in our featured section, we have the spring set, spring weapon. We have the spring. Hey guys, Nate here. Welcome to another weekly store update for Destiny 2. It is now, it's week 3, but the game says it's week 4, which is odd, because if you look at our challenges, it says week 4, that stuff's already showing up, but it would actually be week 4 next week, because that's would be a month from when Witch Queen released, but... Anyhow, getting sidetracked, let's jump into our weekly store update. I do apologize for my cat. She is going nuts. So, on our featured section, first thing you're going to see is this, bring into Vernal Equinox. And this is all from two years ago, I believe. And it was the spring event. I don't think we're going to get that anymore. So... This was the, actually the armor set that you receive while playing the event, which it is now an ornament set. So when you log in, you're going to see your specific armor set, meaning if you're playing as a warlock, you're going to see the warlock set. If you're playing as a hunter, you're going to see the hunter set. And because I'm playing as my titan, I'm able to see the titan set. And this is what it looks like. So again, it was previously an armor set that you can earn from playing the Revelry, I believe it was called. The Spring event from two years ago, maybe three years ago. And then, so all this stuff right here is from that event. The Perfect Swing, which is the Happy Gilmore emote, it was available during that event. This was one of the rewards you can get. And... 
the dragonfly ship, the mayfly. Again, this was all rewards that you were able to earn or get during that event, which again I believe was called the revelry. And then you have the ladybug ghost. So if you missed that event that first time around, you weren't playing Destiny, you were taking a break, you just didn't want to play it, didn't catch your attention, that stuff's available now. And so your now ornament set is going for fifteen hundred silver or fifteen dollars. Perfect swing exotic emote is going for a thousand silver or ten dollars. The Mayfly is going for eight hundred silver or eight dollars. And the ladylike shell is going for six hundred silver or six dollars. Of course I don't have any of this on my Xbox because when the event came out, I only played it on PlayStation, so I have all the stuff on my PlayStation, and I believe there's a couple more emotes, and I think there's there was a bunny shell, not like the the bunny shell from com completing the dungeon solo. Sorry about that. I gotta cut my audio because was a car passing by making a bunch of noise. But so as I was saying, it's not the full spring like set. Because I believe there's a another emote, a couple of emotes, and then there's shaders, which aren't available in the store this week. Um, and then there's like a bunny ghost shell. So I don't know if they're gonna release those maybe next week. But as of right now, these are the only items that you have access to from the spring event in case you're interested, in case you missed it. If you like to match up your guardian with like the seasons and stuff like that, then this is, you know, perfect for spring and stuff. Now we have, this is just letting you know, there's new things in the archive section. Um, apologize, that's my cat going crazy. And we have this season's armor ornaments. And we have this right here, Collective Obligation Exotic Ornament for, it's called Infinality, but no, I don't want to purchase it. But it is a weapon ornament, isn't it showing me? It's a weapon ornament for the Raid Exotic, which I got a couple days ago running the Raid, and to be honest, I have no idea how to use it, but I have it, I'll figure it out. We have the DIY Forge Master, so you're making Telesto. I assume it's Telesto. So you're hammering away, and it says Banshee would be proud. Because if you stop the emote, I mean, that's, that's Telesto. And then you, you know, store it. So it's going for a thousand silver, or ten dollars. We have Winning Streak. An exotic sparrow, which looks like Tron. That's what that looks like. I believe there's a whole set. There's a ghost and then there's an exotic ship, but it's a you know available in different pieces. It's not all available right now. We have the Terminus emissary, the um, exotic ornament for the Karats of the Falling Star, which I believe was in the store last week as well because I. Talked about how it'd be cool if it if these bits lit up because it looks like your transformer, which is cool, and that's going for six hundred silver or six dollars. We have the Bray Legacy exotic weapon ornament for Polaris Lance. That's what that looks like, and I can't turn it, so I like the other ornament better. And that's going, this is our daily offer, so it's going for 500 silver or $5. We have our Synth Weave templates. We have our Rover Shell, which is going for 600 silver, which is what I bought last week. So I thought it was really cool. So that's what it looks like, the little arm. It's the side, that's the back. It's the other side. It's the front. That's going for 600 silver, I believe I already said that, or $6. We have a Season of Arrivals shader. It's called Jackarina. Jackarina. I apologize if I'm butchering it. 
which looks like a dead orbit shader because it's black and white, but I don't know where this blue comes from because it doesn't tell you that there's a blue on it. It's not bad, but it looks like the D1 dead orbit shaders. They're close to it. They're very similar to it. You have the Aramis Ghost Projection, which is a 1500 bright dust. That's what that looks like. We have the villain uh, emo, the dastardly stash for 700 bright dust. 12 from maximum cliche. That's what that looks like. Not a bad emo. We have Metropolis Flyer, which looks like it's from the movie, the Pixar movie The Incredibles. It's cool. It, it, it's a really cool um, exotic sparrow. And then, of course, we have our scavenger's boon, Glimmer Shard, Concentrated Matter Gem. And there's my cat going crazy. And for our Bright Dust section, we have a Season of Arrivals, Exotic Emo, Commanding Presence. Description reads whether we wanted it or not, which is a Zavala. Emo, because that's what he says, or he said. We have the, we have the hat wobble. So this is going for three thousand two hundred and fifty bright dust. We have a hat wobble, which is going for seven hundred bright dust. Which I don't get it to be honest. I don't. Yeah, don't get. I I don't know what movie it's from. Ghost. Do we have any new sequences? But, I mean, if you're into it, and you want to add it to your collection, it's right here in the store. This is the 30th anniversary. Um, legendary emote. We have the August Courser, a Season of Arrival Exotic Sparrow. Which, that's what that looks like. We have Text Marking the Shell which is the exotic ghost shell which that's what that looks like here's the side here's the back here's the other side here's the front this is going for 2850 bright dust we have the photodromic actuators um, which is a synthoseps exotic ornament so this is what that looks like so keep in mind, um, these are class specific, so when you sign in, you're going to see the exotic ornament for your class. So if you're playing as a hunter, you can see your hunter ornament here. If you're playing as a warlock, you can see your warlock ornament here. You have the stagecoach, an exotic ornament, a weapon ornament for the last word. I don't have it here because I never did the quest here on my Xbox. And I don't want to sign into my PlayStation to get it. Because I don't want to run everything again. But it's a really cool ornament. And it's available for 1,250 bright dust. The ornament is 1,500 bright dust. We have the Pegasus Projection, which is 1,500 bright dust, which actually goes good with my ghost and I might go for it but 1500 bright does is still a lot excuse me I apologize for that so that's what that looks like we have signal intercept transmit effect for 450 bright does it's from this season mm, there isn't really much to it Which is from this season. Um, 450 bright dust, I believe I already said that. We have the stasis entrance for 450 bright dust, which it's not bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. We have the tiger transmit effect, it is 450 bright dust. Under the tiger. And I believe there's a growl to it too. So if you want to 
add that to your collection if you're looking for it. Um, it's here in the store right now. We have the Wayfarer's Guise, which is a shader from last season. It's going for 300 Bright Dust. So on this armor set, it looks terrible. Um, but again, if you're a collector and you are looking to complete your shaders and things of that sort, it's in the, available in the store this week. We have the Abyss in Gold, which looks plain again on this armor set. It doesn't really work, but maybe you have an armor set where it looks a lot better. But as of right now, it is. This is what it looks like. Well, on my current armor, we have Byzantium Lotus. From the Saint 14 season. This is actually a neat shader. So the shader is going for 300 bright dust. The shader is 300 bright dust. The shader is 300 bright dust. And then we have Smashing Success. What does this one look like? This one. I know it's hideous, but I think it looks cool. Um, that's what that looks like. And that's going for 300 Bright Dust. Again, we have our consumables. Scavenger's Boon, 250 Bright Dust. We have our Glimmer Shard, 250 Bright Dust. And we have our Concentrated Matter Jam, which is 250 Bright Dust. I don't know if this is a bug, because it says event, but there isn't an event happening at the moment. But also the event symbol is for the winter event. So, yeah, as I mentioned, all this stuff is from the spring event, but this isn't the spring event symbol. So I don't know if it's a bug or a glitch or if they're going to fix it. But as you can see, because I said, well, what is this? And then it's an event, but there's no event. So maybe we were supposed to get a spring event and they just kind of said, mm. or maybe again, it's a bug. Seasonal, I'm not going to dive into that because we're seeing that in the store. And then Archive, I'm not diving into that because it's a lot of stuff. So that's going to do it for this week's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Nate. I'll catch you guys in the next one.